A quick shout out for noblegoldinvestment.com. That's www.noblegoldinvestment.com. The U.S. dollar has lost 85% of its value since the 1970s when the dollar decoupled from gold. And the government seems to be bent on continuing that tradition. From now until after the next elections, the government can print as much money as it wants. The last time they did that, inflation went up 9%. Gold is the one asset that has proven to withstand inflation. Invest in gold with Noble Gold Investments. You will also get a 24 karat uh, gold coins, one quarter of an ounce gold standard coin for free. If you set up a, a gold or silver IRA or roll over that 401k, let them help you at noblegoldinvestment.com. Pick up the phone and call them right now at 877-646-5347. Noblegoldinvestment.com. It's the only gold company that I trust. On Monday, Donald Trump and 18 associates faced indictments in Georgia for their endeavors to overturn the outcome of the 2020 election in that state, allegedly. Prosecutors utilized a statute commonly associated with organized crime to allege that the former president, his legal team, and other aides engaged in a, quote, criminal enterprise aimed at maintaining Trump's grip on power. Contained within the nearly 100-page indictment are numerous instances where Trump and his supporters attempted to reverse his electoral loss, the Associated Press has reported. These actions encompassed urging Georgia's Republican Secretary of State to secure enough votes for his victory in the pivotal state, subjecting an election worker to harassment based on unfounded fraud allegations, and making efforts to convince Georgia lawmakers to disregard the voter's choice and instead appoint a new group of electoral college electors who favored Trump. One especially audacious incident outlined in the indictment details a scheme involving one of Trump's attorneys. The plot centered on gaining unauthorized access to voting machines in a rural county in Georgia and illicitly procuring data from a voting machine company. Instead of adhering to Georgia's established legal procedures for contesting elections, the indictment asserts that the accused individuals participated in an illicit enterprise akin to organized crime in an attempt to overturn the results of Georgia's presidential election, as stated by Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis during a late-night press briefing. Among the other individuals facing charges are Mark Meadows, the former White House Chief of Staff, Rudy Giuliani, former mayor of New York City and Trump's attorney, and Jeffrey Clark, another former official in the Trump administration's Justice Department who aided the then-president's endeavors to reverse his electoral defeat in Georgia. Additional lawyers who propagated legally questionable tactics to invalidate the election outcomes, including John Eastman, Sidney Powell, and Kenneth Cheeseborough, also find themselves facing charges. Willis has announced that the defendants have the option to surrender voluntarily by noon on August 25th. She has further disclosed her intention to secure a trial date within six months and pursue a joint trial for all defendants. On Sunday, a Russian naval vessel fired warning shots using automatic weapons at a dry cargo ship flying the Palu flag in the southwestern Black Sea. The ship was en route to Ukraine, as reported by the Russian Defense Ministry. Previously, Russia had thwarted a UN-mediated grain agreement which had ensured Ukraine's ability to transport its agricultural goods via the Black Sea. Moscow had cautioned that any ships heading toward Ukrainian waters might be carrying weaponry, NBC News has reported. According to a statement from Russia, the patrol ship Vasily engaged in firing automatic weapons at the Sukro Oken ship after the latter's captain disregarded a request to halt for an inspection. The Sukro Oken was making its way toward the Ukrainian port of Ismail as confirmed by the Defense Ministry. Shipping data from 
Refintive indicated that the ship was headed northwards towards the Belgian coast. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Now, the Russian Defense Ministry stated, quote, to halt the vessel forcefully, warning shots were discharged from automatic weapons. Utilizing a KA-29 helicopter, Russian military personnel boarded the ship. The Defense Ministry further explained, quote, once the inspection team concluded its activities on board, the Sukru Okan resumed its journey to the port of Ismail. Reports have indicated that archaeologists have made a remarkable find unearthing the peculiar remains of a 17th century child that was buried with a padlock affixed to their foot, a sign that harks back to the medieval belief in the possibility of the dead remainings of a vampire. Now, researchers led by Darius Polinski from Nicholas Copernicus University embarked on an exploration and excavation of graves in the early medieval burial ground known as a necropolis in Poland with the aim of uncovering distinctive interments. Last year, they made a significant breakthrough by uncovering the burial of a young medieval woman. Her body was doubly safeguarded against potential resurrection with a triangular padlock secured to her left big toe and a downward-facing sickle blade placed around her neck. In their quest for comparable burials in close proximity, the archaeologists have now stumbled upon an unusual and unprecedented discovery, the burial of a 17th century child estimated to be near around 5 to 7 years old, the Independent has reported. The child's remains were found positioned face down in the burial cavity, a placement that suggests a certain level of apprehension or fear regarding the deceased post-mortem activities. This distinctive positioning with faces directed towards the ground was likely practiced in the medieval era to prevent the deceased from, quote, rising and posing a threat to the living, as explained by scientists in a statement. Additionally, beneath the child's bones, archaeologists came across a triangular padlock similar to the one discovered accompanying the remains of the medieval woman found at the same site last year. Subsequent an analysis indicated that the child's grave had possibly been tampered with with a portion of the remains removed. However, the circumstances surrounding this violation remain unclear, including when it occurred and the reasons behind it. <laughs>